keep on doing. Um, honestly, I, I think that was good for our team to have a game that um, was tight, close, over time. I mean, it was like all the things that you try to prepare for in practice that you just can't until you're live and in game situation. Um, had some some good performances. Um, we took care of the basketball. We got a, we got a lot of shots. The pace was ours. Um, we just really needed to hit more uh, and shoot a little bit better. But to get 98 shots up and only turn the ball over 10 times, um, I like the pace. And uh, we got to clean some things up defensively. But again, until you play somebody, you don't really know where all the holes are. And it'd be nice to go back and watch film and let our kids see those things. Coach, you mentioned as you walked in, Tyra had 25. How about her and her first game? Yeah, I mean, sometimes I have to remind her that she's not in the ACC anymore and that she should just get her butt on the block, right? Um, she saw a few of those jumpers, which she can make, but um, tonight it was like, just go to the block and you can score at will. And um, obviously she rebounded when she missed. You know, she gets her own rebound and puts it back in. Um, that's her first live action in like a year and a half or something like that. So. Um, I thought it was a great performance and, um, you know, it just kind of shows you that we have something inside now, an interior presence that, that we can go to when we need a bucket and that's what we needed. Can you also speak about the playmaking from your point guards tonight? It seemed like they hit everyone that was open in the paint all night. Yeah, it's tough because I have Shauna and I have Danae and obviously Danae played significant minutes at the point guard position a year ago and Shauna's just been, you know, sitting there all season long last year and you guys can see like how she can take over a game, her speed, her ability to get to the basket. Um, so the two of them at times, I thought Rossi struggled tonight and that, that gave um, some allowance for both of them to be on the court more. And um, I just feel, you know, pretty lucky to have two kids like that that can really dig it out in those moments. And um, they're real headsy, you know, Danae hit some free throws. I feel really um, secure with the ball in her hands or Shauna's to make the right play and the right read. So that's, that's a pretty cool thing as a head coach. Any more questions? Yeah, can you talk a little bit more about the momentum shift in the fourth quarter to make that comeback? It's pretty present time. I mean, that's that's the players, right? Like, that's uh, that's the game of basketball, the, the runs, and we hadn't really gone on one. We kept getting it close, and then they'd hit a basket. It kind of kept it, you know, about five to six. We couldn't seem to get over the hump and um, found the right combination of people that went in and did that. And I think that for us, like, early – I have a lot of players that can play and you're trying to figure out roles and, and when people play and what situations. So um, it was really good to see that group that took and had, I think the biggest lead for us, it was in the fourth, right? 11-0 um, scoring run. So um, that group played really well together. And that's the stuff that an exhibition provides, like just gives us a chance to see what we look like in uniform. And like I said, I think the competitive nature of the game will help us moving into Irvine. Thank you, Coach. Awesome. Thanks. Questions? Uh, Tyra, how was your first game suited up for the Spartans? Looks like pretty good out there. Yeah, it feels really, really good. Uh, it's been over a year since I've played. Um, it's no better feeling than these girls right here. It, they put in the work, we put in the work, so it feels actually good. Um, and then for both of you, I guess, uh, some Sunbirds couldn't miss a three in the first half, it seemed like. How were you guys able to slow them down defensively? Um, defensively, we weren't playing that great at first, and we were giving them a lot of like fast break points and whatnot. So us just uh, getting being more aggressive on defense and getting back kind of slowed them down more. And Coach harped on like patience and like trust in our defense, uh, trust in our principles. We worked hard for, for weeks on defense alone. So trust that we put it into effect and it worked out for us in the end. Uh, you're going to have been good with the team all last year, but not getting to play. Uh, what's the difference getting to be a part of that system after having it seen, or uh, having seen it from the sidelines for a year? Uh, I would just give my best self to them, on and off the court, and do what I have to do. Um, they got me like I got them. I felt every loss they felt, even though I wasn't playing the game. And just being with them now, it just it's a, it's a different year, it's a new experience, and I just I just love playing with all of them. Mind if I butt in? That kid used that as her motivation. This kid is a dog. She's one of the best point guards I've played in. I've played in the ACC. Take it to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of point guards in general, it uh, seems like you're getting a lot of great threes in the paint. Can you speak about how they were all playing and just their uh, playmaking tonight? 
Um, I think my teammates trust me, um, and I feed off of their trust. Um, we just make good reads. We play together really well. Um, talk to team practice sometimes. We just gels. Um, and the ball movement and the presence that I can have to open up things for other people, and they trust me to allow me to do what I have to do to get them open and do what they got to do. I mean, we play off each other. We all feed off each other. Any more questions? Uh, during overtime, uh, for a lot of that time, I see y'all saw your uh, tire getting worked on the sideline. Your, it looked like your calf was kind of cramping up. How does it feel right now? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't walk. She you said me, and I was like, oh, it's right next door. But um, I'm all right. I'll, be, I'll uh, get treatment right after this, um, be back at practice tomorrow, right back at it, move forward. Um, I'm not letting anything stop this season. I just got out of here. It's not happening again. She's a warrior. She's been yeah. MIA for yeah. a year plus. I just had to put in my elbow like two days ago, so hey, <laughs> we're playing. We Push are. through. Uh, moving more towards the season, like what, what are some things that you're going to get, go back to practice on and focus on moving forward to? Sure, you should be hurt. That's yeah, first. pretty much. You know, we kind of were in a dry start. You know, we weren't making all the passes that we usually do. But we're going to keep shooting and keep, you know, gelling together. And, you know, within time, we'll be good. That's it. We don't, we don't stop runs, drills, repetitions. We, we got enough stuff, just repetitions. Can you just speak about that run at the end of the fourth quarter? You guys were down in double digits in the fourth, and then you guys you know, go on a big run, tie it up. What clicked at the end of that game? Harder. We all have heart. We all warriors. We know what it feels like to lose. I know what it feels like to lose. And I want to win. They want to win. We all want to win. This is for JT. This season's for JT. Yeah. Um, our system is to run the ball, so we're down. We're just going to keep running. We're up. We're going to keep running. That's, that's what we do.